Hello everyone, welcome to a very quick video here in X-Plane 1150B1. That means this is Vulcan. We are running Vulcan right now and I was not expecting to be making a quick video tonight uh, but thanks to a subscriber who uh, gave me a heads up that it's just been released. So I just got back in from work and uh, just saw that notification and thought what the hell? So right now I'm in the HP Reverb and I'm just doing a few circuits at Leeds Bradford just to check out if anything has changed. Now in fact I've just flown from RAF Cranwell to uh, Leeds Bradford just to see how the sim handles loading in a very high quality airport. I've got all my textures maximum and as you can see I'm leaving all of these stutters in just so you can see that at the moment in terms of raw frame rate nothing has really changed if I'm honest so sorry to be the bearer of bad news here because like you know like many of you I've been waiting for this for some time but being quite realistic with the expectations um, this is my very first flight in Vulcan so there's a lot of testing to do but I thought I'd just get this out there as quick as possible just to let you know what my first impressions is now I've got to say it's not all bad news I am finding that there's a lot less stutters I'm running my texture quality on maximum uh, and I wasn't able to do that recently with uh, what's in VR with Orbex airports like Lee's Bradford it was just absolutely awful the stutters would be so bad that I just couldn't take it and as you can see there they are a stutter every now and then for about half a second or so and then they go away so we're just on finals here and I've noticed as well that the terrain uh, the ortho scenery kind of clicks into focus a bit better because it's basically utilizing the VRAM finally using utilizing your graphics card so there is a few times Sync rate, sync rate. Shut this Too guy up. Flaps. Too oh, flaps. shut up, it's fine. Chill out. <laughs> um, I've noticed a few times where the ortho scenery is a bit blurry just for a moment and then it kind of catches up. A little bit like the old days in FSX where the scenery would just be a little bit blurry for a, for a moment and then it will catch up. Now that's a bit of a trade-off I think that we might have to make for a bit of a smoother experience. But there we go, there's another stutter there, look, I'm, as I said, I'm leaving these in on purpose, I don't want this, I want this to be a very raw video showing you exactly how I'm experiencing it. So what I'm doing is, is I'm running the Windows Mixed Reality Portal because that shows every single stutter that I'm getting in the headset. Uh, bearing in mind I am recording and I'm actually just downloading the, the latest angle. TBM update as well. Um, which so I'm, my computer is doing a few things but it shouldn't make too much difference like here for instance the auto is looking good because I'm in a in one area but if I were to say fly to bank East angle, Midlands now bank angle, bank angle. which I'm gonna do now actually quickly before I have my tea shouldn't take too long we'll see how that is there but as I say this is 1150 beta 1 of the uh, Vulcan release and I intend on doing plenty of tests with this uh, with this new beta oh see we've got a big stutter there look so I mean if, oh by the way I've got my frame rate here in Avitab and look I'm down to like 22 24 frames per second that will go up to about 30 frames per second now I've always said Vulcan is all, all about really more than anything else about the smoothness of the sim that's the most important thing um, it's about taking uh, get rid of all those stutters and we're never going to get rid of those stutters forever because X planes a very complicated beast it's not like Aerofly where it's not modeling any AI traffic uh, this plane is being extra noisy today just because I'm trying to talk it's typical but never mind uh, so it's doing a lot more 
So it's a bit of a mixed bag, like I thought it would be. I didn't really expect it to be um, a, oh my god, it's amazing, I'm getting 90 frames per second, everything is great in the world. This is going to be a long beta process. Oh, look at that stutter, that's a big one. So as you can see, don't expect too much. But I have to say, so far, in terms of the, uh, the stability of the sim, it is very, very nice. Uh, I've been flying now for about an hour, and I haven't had a single crash, which I'm very surprised about. I haven't done anything uh, in terms of... Uh, I basically installed this over the top of my main installation. Two copies. Wow, that's a big stutter. My God. So I'd recommend, if you're going to use the beta, definitely uh, try... Uh, make sure you've got a test copy of X-Plane so that you can run that beta. But look, frame rates are pretty abysmal right now and I'm getting really, really bad stutters. So really, what is the verdict right now? I'm not quite so sure. I, I, I must have been I was expecting more. At the moment, I'm getting loads of stutters now. Um, so, yeah, not great, if I'm honest. I was expecting a bit more than this. Oh yeah, it really is starting to stutter now. This this feels more like OpenGL again. So East Midlands Airport. Oh, that's a big stutter. Oh god, that's awful. You might struggle watching this actually, guys. But I'm not putting this video out to look great. I'm putting it out so you guys know what my experiences is straight away. Um, so I hope you appreciate that. I'm not doing this. Uh, for a particular nice view up in the window or on your YouTube screen. I'm doing it as a raw test of my very first flight in Vulcan. Did you see that guys? I'm not sure you saw that there, but the the author is behaving differently now. Instead of it all being the highest quality, it is uh, only showing the highest uh, you know resolution terrain where you need to see it that is very good i like that oh put my head out the window there rather realistically but, so basically wherever you're looking particularly very close in proximity to your aircraft that ortho will be very clear and it does look fantastic and let's say as i'm zooming oh bit of a stutter there so i don't want to be hyper sensitive to every single stutter because there's still going to be those stutters but it's a question of how bad they get and trust me when I say that this particular airport is horrendous it's that bad that it's basically unflyable I wouldn't be able to normally land at this airport with these settings that I've got right now which is maximum full to the right textures full uh, objects um, so those two particular graphic sliders are way up. I mean the HP reverb as I've said, getting about between about 25 and 30 frames per second, which isn't too bad if it's a consistent frame rate. This is the important factor here with Vulcan. It has to be a consistent, uh, more of a smoother experience. Like here, I don't know if you can see that now, but that's slightly blurry. Yeah, it is. That, this is a bit blurry now. I'm going to continue zooming in here it never used to be like that so that's looking a bit rubbish at the moment but any moment now that's going to pop into view all being well <laughs> so at the moment that's still very low texture quality and it's I think yeah it's now popped into view now look that's now looking much better bit of a stutter there And now we're at full resolution. It's hard to tell because Orbex resolution isn't the highest anyway. But uh, yeah. My controller battery is dying, which is uh, a bit annoying, but never mind. I have to keep waking it up for a minute. We're now nine miles away. We're nine miles away from East Midlands Airport. And I still haven't experienced any really bad stutters. Interesting. If this... Because I've been wanting to get Orbex in Edinburgh. Because I really love that airport. But I haven't because of the terrible frame rate. But if this is going to work and I actually get to the airport without too many stutters. 
I know exactly what I'm going to be doing after uh, this flight and after I've had my tea. I'm going to be buying that airport. Is that it there? No, not quite. Is it? No, it's six miles away. Right, by now guys, by now we would definitely be having some really bad stutters. That is East Midlands there. Okay. This is what I'm talking about guys. Don't, oh, here we go, little stutter there. Don't focus on the raw numbers of the uh, frame rate. It's about the smoothness of the sim. I'm about to be absolutely shocked by this because that is East Midlands. That is a huge difference. That is a massive difference. Wow, okay, right. Well, what we'll do is... Sorry, guys, if that's a bit loud. We're going to be very realistic and we're just going to basically go for a, uh, a landing here. Right, now that is the proper test there, guys. That is a huge difference. The fact that I have just flown straight from one Lees, like, like Lees Bradford is a really, really high quality Orbex airport to another one here with maximum texture quality with very minimal stutters is bank angle, remarkable. Bank angle, bank angle. Now, if I pressed all those, bitch and betty should shut up but I bet, he bet they won't <laughs> right gear coming down but well, we'll be in a moment we're gonna do a really really fast like see there big stutter there bank angle bank angle bank angle the resolution of that ortho is basically what it's doing is it's managing my VRAM so that it's not being overloaded and I get these horrendous stutters I'm quite happy with the odd little stutter here and there, which is what we're getting at the moment. You're seeing everything that I'm seeing on the, the, uh, on the display, because we're using the Windows Mixed Reality Mirror. But it's basically managing the, all of those high resolution textures, and it's doing a really good job. Bank angle, bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. And remember, bank angle. remember, this is not optimized yet. This is a beta. That's very Sync important rate. to know. Sync rate. Sync rate. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm just going to ease up my descent just so that uh, Bitch and Betty rate. won't... Uh... Sync rate. Sync rate. No, it's not going to work. Sync rate. Sync Sorry rate. guys. <laughs> Sync rate. 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 Right, sod it. I'm just going to land. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> And it's fine! Pull Tactical up. landing! There we go, look, we were fine. Oh, bit of a stutter as we uh, landed. Right, that's all I'm going to do for now, guys. I'm going to stop the video there, because, as I say, I wasn't intending on making one, but I really wanted to just show you that in terms of raw frame rate, that's not a big deal right now, but I'd imagine that that's going to be something that's going to be optimised. But in terms of stutters and ortho loading of scenery and airports, it's a huge difference. A huge difference right there'll be plenty more testing uh, coming up on, on the channel in the future but as I say for now that's all we're gonna do I'll see you guys very soon take care for now and uh, yeah happy days Vulcans finally arrived superb <laughs>